Greetings, I, the War Al greets you, and welcome back to Matchmaking Academy, the show where you are the star for all the wrong reasons. But don't worry, we're going to figure out what those reasons are and help you improve at Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Our hero today is Tanay. He's a Master Guardian 2 player. That's here. Got to do that with the new pictures. And his favorite fish is the jellyfish, which I don't think technically is a fish, but we'll give him a pass. It's got fish in the name. There's the Portuguese Man of War. It's got war in the name. You guys know I like that. He had some questions about how to play T-Side Inferno, and I think it's all just game sense problems, so I bet we can help this guy. Did he just drop an AK-47 for a P90? Oh no. Well, we got our work cut out for us today. Oh my gosh! What a noob! Look at his corpse, he's like, too loo! <laughs> in his write-up, Tanay talked about feeling lost mid-game, not knowing where to go, what to do, what to aim at, when to rotate, and all of that. That means he's got a problem with his game sense and with his experience in the game. Now, there's three points of skill in Counter-Strike. The first is your mechanics. That's like your aim and your spray control. The second is your communication. That's how well you call, how well you set up crossfires with your team and rotate and those sorts of things. The third is game sense. That's like your map knowledge, your idea of the current state of the map, and that's what Tanay has a problem with. You can clearly see that by how there is a player in Graveyard right now, a common spot, looking at him, completely visible, and Tanay does not respond to it because he's not looking at it. He's not looking at any of the common spots. He just kind of ran out here at Porch. Still doesn't really register. Oh, now knows that the player is at Graveyard. Goes for the kill. The player's already dead, and at this point, doesn't really know that he's dead, and you should be able to tell from radar, from a teammate call, uh, from the kill feed. That player is dead, he's still focusing on Graveyard, runs forward, look at how many different angles he has just exposed himself to. Everywhere inside of the site, people rotating near Moto, people inside of Pit, he didn't look at Pit once during this, and a Pit, of course, is where he is going to get killed from. Let's hop in game and look at this position a little bit closer. I'm a terrorist, and I want to take bombsite A from Porch. Now listen, I'm going to be tough on you, and I'll tell you why. You're not a bad player. You're a noob. Noobs can learn. It's a lot easier for you to learn how to do it right the first time than it is for someone like me to change a bad habit. Because look how old I am. What I think this player needs to work on, I'm talking directly to him, is game sense map knowledge, situational awareness. If you run directly into the site like that, think of how many angles you've opened yourself up from. There's graveyard, pit, pit up there, everywhere inside of the site, library, everything. And we notice he was just kind of looking like this. He wasn't even looking at these common spots. I didn't see him scanning anything. When you come around this corner, what's the first thing you do? You probably look here, right? Well, first you clear this, you look there, you get an idea of what's going on. You always have to stop and ask yourself, where can I get killed from? As you play the game more, you get more games under your belt, you're gonna get killed from a lot of different positions, and you're gonna gain an understanding of where you can get killed from. So if I'm right here and I think, where can I get killed from? My first thought is right here. A player trying to, if there's a, not a smoke down or the smoke is clearing, right there a player could peek out, right? Then if I'm gonna turn this corner, I think there could be a player up here. There could be a player over this. There could be a player inside a pit, and this is probably the most common one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear those, and then I'm going to pre-shoot this spot like that. So if somebody's there, they're probably going to die. They're going to get hit in the head, right? If I push up here, I'm not going to stand in the middle and run up like this, because I'm exposed from everywhere now. If I want to hug the left side, I can just focus on the pit, right? I don't have to focus on that other stuff. And if I have another player, like he did, or if I want to walk up the right side, I don't have to focus on pit. I just focus on graveyard, the site box, library, all of this stuff as I push up here. Also, when you're on the right side like this, you can throw a Molotov in here. This is a very common Molotov to throw. You should throw this if you have a Molotov because it'll block out this entire position for a period of time as your team pushes in. Also, you can throw like a, a smoke here like that and it'll block off this angle so you don't have to worry about it. But this player, again, I don't think he even knew that graveyard was a position. Otherwise, he would have looked there, and it's very obvious because there was a player there visible. And since, it, you know, it's a little bit low ranked and that player took a lot to shoot him, he could have easily just tapped him in the head. He could have easily got that shot. It's just a matter of game knowledge, of knowing what's going on as you push into the bomb site. 
Oh dear. I am disappointed in today. Ladies and gentlemen, the P90 is a crutch weapon. No, not a clutch weapon, a crutch weapon. Sure, you may be able to get some easy kills by running, gunning, spray, and praying with this easy, I guess, shooting his teammate in the back of the head. That might count as well, using this newbie technique, but you will never, ever get better at the game unless you utilize the proper techniques, purchase the proper weapons to play this game the way it is meant to be played. The P90 is $350 cheaper than the AK-47. If he didn't purchase just this Molotov. He would have had smoke, flash, and nade. He would have been able to purchase an AK-47 and may have used proper aiming techniques instead of this run and gun technique that he's been using. Very disappointing. And I know some people are going to disagree and say, well, I got a kill with it. Even if you got a kill with it, it's the wrong thing to purchase. It's the wrong way to play in the long run and you'll never get better. Notice at this point, Tanae just runs directly into the site without being cognizant that the only angle where he could potentially be killed from is CT, maybe over here if his teammates didn't check back here. And of course, we'll get shot in the back. DISAPPOINTED! Here's what I want you to do. I want you to hop into a deathmatch. Community deathmatch. Valve deathmatch. I don't care what it is. An aim map. What I want you to do is I want you to get 100 kills with the AK-47. You're not going to be buying the P90 anymore, my friend. Take your time. Go for the shots. Don't worry about dying. See? I died. I don't care. Go for the shots. Control your movement. Right? Go for those one taps. So I know there's a guy in here. I'm just going to slow down. Take the shot. Got that one tap. Do that for 100 kills. You're going to be playing much better. See, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care that I died. I took, I got a foot. I gotta phone, I gotta go, I gotta phone, I gotta- Thanks to Tanae for sending in the demo, he did a great write-up. And thanks to you for watching, guys. This is the last video I made in my old studio. I'm excited to start making stuff again. I'm the world and I still have no closer. I'm a terrorist. <laughs>